Good morning, everybody. It's your boy back again with another fantastic vlog entry. Hopefully, uh, so yesterday I was, uh, you know, going through my YouTube channel, checking out the, uh, you know, checking out the, um, the videos, and so yeah. Now I'm headed to I'm headed to Checkerberry Farms um, I'm gonna go help my mentor pack up some cabbage I'm, I'm assuming I, I really don't know um, I really don't know what we're doing but I'm helping him pack up and he's he got a big order so going over there help him out um, it should be interesting everything's interesting everything is new to me just so for all the viewers out there that are, you know, everything is happening to me in this process of farming and uh, living in Maine and it's all brand new. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's all brand new. So, um, like the wood piece and uh, the wood piece yesterday, that's all brand new. I mean, I've never had wood heat in my life, but, um, you know, we're getting along and we're learning. And that's the, the beautiful thing of coming to a new place, uh, learning, learning the landscape, learning what, what to do, what not to do, uh, what's good for the wood stoves, what's not good for the wood stoves, what's good for the, the land. Wow, it's, man, it is windy out there, uh, you know. How to fertilize, how to till, how to, you know, start seeds in the greenhouse, all that stuff. It's all, uh, re, 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 it's all new. So, uh, I'm like a kid in the candy store. I love, I love this life. So, and I want to share it with everybody. Like I said in the first vlog, you know, and um, so I think it's. Oh, I think it's like nine degrees out maybe um, it's windy I'm driving I'm gonna go to the store then I'm gonna go hit, hit up Checkberry Farms and go work there so anyway I'll see you guys later you guys have a great day this is my this is my video camera video camera say hi to the people <laughs> What people? There are no people, there's just you. <laughs> what is that strange little boy? This is, this is uh, my boss, AKA mentor, right here, Jason Kafka. It's my boy right here. He's very confused. <laughs> I am though. What is that? Is there, like, I'm not familiar with these little things. Oh. Full HD 1080p. It's nice. Pictures there. Yeah. This is the farmhouse. <laughs> Doing a little work at the Checkerberry Farms. Hey, you didn't see my videos though. You saw my videos. No, I didn't. Yeah, I've been posting them on YouTube on my vlog. So you're gonna be on my vlog, Jay. Oh. Come on. <laughs> anyway, back to work. Stay in here. See that? That has the the heat. One of the heats. That has the heat. And uh, it's pretty freaking cold out there. It is like nine degrees. Yeah. But this is the main heat. It puts out less than your hair dryer. But wow. It's so insulated. No kidding. And you got the little knob up there. It's pretty cool. I love this. I love this stuff. But anyway, back to work. This is what we're 
We weigh all our stuff, we put them in boxes, and then we, and then we ship them out. What's up? This is why I want to go organic. Check this out. Checking this out. Look at dude's taking a shower. That's crap. Pesticides. <laughs> Organic. The other, uh, the other time. Uh, oh my God! Here we go. The other day, I went to a uh, a conference in Augusta, and I think it was the Ag Maine Agriculture something or other. I don't know exactly the name of it, but. I went to the beginners, you know, uh, it was like a beginner's room, uh, a beginner's room for farmers. And I talked to this, this man, this young man, and I, you know, he's from Mofka, which is uh, the main organic farmer and gardener, gardeners association, which I have on my laptop right now. I, I pulled it up so, so I, I can read it. And, uh. Cause I'm only human. So, so we did that, and and I started talking to him, and he was like, "Hey, man, you know, you should try it out." You know, I told him what we were doing, how much acre, uh, how much acre, uh, how much acreage we have, and um, and so I was like, "Ah, oh, there's no, there's a, there's a thing called the journeyman, uh, the journey persons program." which gives you a lot of tools it gives you you know you get a mentor you get you know a bunch of uh discounts on seeds and then you get networking i mean and you get information learning i love learning um i love learning about this about organic vegetables uh organic food in general i love it um so we just got invited uh, for an interview so that's exciting I'm really excited for that um, and yeah and it was really excited to be at the farm and like be around and, and be around you know everybody and talk and have a good time and it was it was uh, it, was, it, it made me feel like wow you know spring's coming people are talking about getting seeds or people already have their seeds I'm probably going to get my seeds uh, in a couple of weeks, maybe a week or two. And so, and so yeah, it's all fun, man. And um, it's been interesting because I know I use that word so much. My wife's going to kill me because I'm going to have to, she's going to have to edit all this. But um, it's all fun. And what I really want to say is that I'm very lucky. We are very lucky because... We stumbled in, uh, we stumbled in on a house, and it, not only did we buy land and have a house, we also have a network, uh, you know, people that I met, you know, um, and those people um, are helping us with our farm uh, through information, through showing me how to farm, chasing Kafka. And if any beginner farmers out there, you know, bought some land, uh, my suggestion is go work on a farm. Um, working on the farm is probably the best thing I've done in this whole, uh, you know, in this whole, in the beginning. It's the best thing I've done. I, you know, I learned, you know, what to do as far as uh, covering, covering crops, uh, greenhouse production, um, celeriac production, celery production, corn, I, I, you know, picking cilantro, knowing your different type of plants, um, what to look for. Like it, when I first started picking beets, I had no idea, you know, uh, for like beet greens. We were looking for beet greens, so, you know, I had no idea what, even what a beet green was. I know what beets are, you know, so... 
So anybody that's beginning to farm or, or is thinking about farming, I highly su suggest to go work on a farm and see how they do it and bring it back to your farm. And that's what we did. Last year we did a quarter acre and we did so much food and did it right and it was successful and I'm really excited for this next year. Um, so with that being said, let's get on the topic and I really, really, really want to thank Jason and Barbara for letting me come and be a part of their farm, Checkerberry Farm. I probably, I mentioned it in the beginning of the vlog, but Checkerberry Farm, they're awesome, awesome people, knowledgeable. I mean, Jay knows his stuff and uh, I couldn't ask for a better mentor. Anyway, everybody, you have a great night and uh, let's, see what, let's see what tomorrow brings.